Alright, so Coach, how are you doing today, sir? Great, thank you. Now, I know there may be still some moves to be made right before the 2014 season, but how do you feel the team shaping up so far? Well, I think we had some major deficiencies defensively over the last couple seasons, and it's something that we, uh, you know, having two picks at the top of the draft and a draft that was probably full of quality defense, it was important for us to get some quality defensemen at the top of the draft. Now, you traded Turi in the number two pick for the three and four pick. How important, I guess, was that for you to get that three and four pick back to back like that? We liked Justin Turry, but we also felt the need that we, if we can get three and four, we'd be able to get uh, two starters. And we think that we got a 6'6 six, six defenseman. We also think that we you know, got a 6'3 defenseman. So we got a lot of size. We got some quality players in there. Um, you know, we had some holes there, so we needed to get better on the defensive side. So that was the reason we traded Turry. It was, you know, he was good, he's a great player. He's going to have a great season for them, but we had some needs. Of the players that we could talk about, the newer ones, I know watch for everybody, but yep. is there anybody that you're particularly excited to see play on the Lizards this year? Well, uh, Joe Fletcher is going to be on, the, you know, has a good shot at the U.S. team, but I also think that, uh, you know, Luke Dupree is six foot six and he's an animal. He's a monster. He's, uh, you know, talking to some, you know, watching some tape on the guy. He's, he's, a, you know, he's got a bright future in the league. He's very physical. He's big. He's, you know, he uh, plays with no conscience, and that's important. Now talk about the evaluation process of like how do you look over a player and can tell that they're a good part of what you're trying to do for the 2014 season? It's tough because you're drafting players before they play their senior season and a lot of guys come into their own their senior year. So for us, it's uh, you know really a lot of projecting. You got you to gotta really watch a lot of tape and, and kind of get an idea of how they're going to project. Um, you know, I think it's important for me too, my other profession, being a, a college coach, I can kind of have an idea of how some athletes are going to move forward. Um, but for us to be able to, you know, those guys, we did a lot of our homework on those guys. And, uh, you know, we probably did a lot, you know, too much homework in a sense, where we started to like other players as well, which made our decision a little bit more complex. But when the smoke cleared, we took two players that, that we needed. It was, you know, we, we, we needed to get better in some spots. Now, you took a lot of players in the supplemental draft as well. Is there anybody that you're excited to see from that? Well, I, I think we, we got a lot of players there, a lot of depth players. Um, you know, but we're excited about a Josh Offit, who was a starting midfielder for Duke last year, who can sling it and shoot and, uh, you know, plays with a lot of fire and effort guys. So we're excited about him. You know, uh, Brendan Buckley, a defenseman, um, plays at Army. He's a quality defenseman, so he's somebody that also that we're pretty excited about. It feels like the roster is always evolving from the first day to very last game. Talk about like how you have to try to move the pieces and try to have a successful team. Yeah, you know, one of the things we did this off season was we were able to try to get guys that are more full time lacrosse guys. So in the past, you have some NL guys, you have some guys that come on and off your roster. We're trying to keep stability and try to get the players that are going to be with us for the duration of the season. Now, um, any message for the fans at home for the 2014? No, we're excited. We had some th areas we needed to get better in when they've been addressed. So now it's our players got to play, our coaches got to coach, and uh, you know our fans got to cheer. But we think that we've put together a championship caliber team. Thank you very much for your time.